All right, I got the drive units assembled, but I'm not entirely pleased with them. Uh, as I've said many times, I had a heck of a time printing PETG without it warping. And I changed a bunch of settings on the printer trying to get it to print better. And I think that might be some of my issues with my drive units. Um, got a rattle, but that's, of course, it's laying down. It's going to drive like this, which sounds fine. Uh, this is a bit tight once I put the screws in, so I might have to take uh, the, there's two plastic, two printed uh, spacers in there, one on either side of the wheels, and I might have to sand those down a bit. I mean, it's probably just fine. It's just that it wasn't quite that tight to the fact where I can't even really, doesn't even really spin one for a full revolution when I try. So I don't think changing these will do it because these are on the hexagonal stock with the hole that's drilled all the way through called Thunder Hex. And it should just be tightening those and not putting any pressure on the bearings. So that shouldn't make this so tight that it doesn't spin. Although that's the easier thing to do first is loosen that a bit. There's a lock nut on either side, so it's not that big of a deal to loosen it and see if that makes it spin better. But I might have to use take those washers out. So... Here's, here's what's going on. This one got a little bit more warped than the other, but they both have about the same issue going on. This wheel, as you can see, there's a bearing in the wheel. There's a bearing that goes in the bottom of the wheel. They are 608 bearings. Same ones as used in skateboards and fidget spinners. The issue is um, it doesn't fit tight in my wheel. It just drops right out. So I think it's supposed to fit tight in there and I think maybe when I was messing with settings trying to get PETG to print something caused my dimensions to be just a hair off because I normally do not have that problem. Um, when I printed these gray parts for the modifications that let you use the purchased Omni wheels these, I actually had to sand out the inside just a little bit to get the uh, flanged bearings that are this side. Um, yeah, They are in there. And in there. You push them in this way. And they were, they wouldn't go in, so I ended up sanding just a bit of the plastic 150 grit sandpaper around a few times and then I was able to get the bearing started and then I flipped the assembly upside down with my hand just pushed really hard on a flat table and walked left right left right and walked the bearing down until it was flush so I know that printing this part it seems like my calibration is okay um, after I printed these, I went back to a default Prusa slicer setting for PETG and made some modifications to it instead of the um, settings that I was using when I printed all the other PETG. So it's very possible that my settings now are fine. My settings then were causing things to come out a little bit small, just a hair. So yeah that bearing top and bottom because there's the bearing there it came out i think they're supposed to stick in the wheel i think they're supposed to be like press fit into the wheel uh this pin 3d printed they're also supposed to fit really tight on that well this was printed i think i printed these might have been some of the first things i printed in petg so i think i changed settings from this to the rest of this and the gears these, I couldn't get these bearings on. 
So I basically I took an X-Acto knife and I kind of felt there's a flat spot because they are made um, to be printed on the print bed. They've got a flat one, area is flat. That's the side you lay on the bed so you can print um, like this on the bed because you don't want to print them like this because then they get really weak and they can snap. But they're stronger like this because the tension is on them in this direction. Uh, so anyway, I took an X-Acto knife and I kind of found the high spots, which were right where it was on the bed. And I scraped those until I could fit the bearing on. Now one thing when you're scraping plastic like that, and one side is secured and the other one's kind of loose, is you tend to get more pressure down here and not up here. So when I finally was able to just get the bearing tight on here, it's a little loose down there. So it's tighter up here and it's looser down. So technically I should print another pin, but again, I am almost out of PETG and I don't really want to buy any more. Now I have the same issue with the middle gear. Like I said, it has a bearing in it. It's smaller than the, than this one. And if I, maybe if I whack it, yeah. Right in there, you can see the bearing raised up when I turn the thing upside down. And then if I wiggle it, it falls back into the gear. So I don't know if I should print a spacer to go in there to keep that bearing from moving in or out. Or just rely on the herringbone gears. Because the whole point of the herringbone gears is that they are um, made so that the gears can't go up and down directly because of their shape when they mesh they won't be able to just lift right off which makes them a pain in the neck to put on but it should keep that I mean that bearing should stay where it is it's it's just yeah it's just it's just a situation that I am just not all that pleased with and don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking for now I'm just gonna leave it um, and then if I decide later um, I can put a bearing in there maybe when I get a motor it's, pr it's probably fine just for pushing yeah, I'm not going to be looking. I can get that snap back in. I was talking about the herringbone gears if I have two hands. Just kind of pulling this to the side and wiggling it, and it'll eventually mesh with that motor. So, yeah, it's like do I want to buy more PETG so I can print these in PETG? Um. And I put that on the wrong side. Do I want to print the things in PETG? Do I want to just leave it? Just not exactly sure at this point. What I want to do. So like I said, pushing the droid around, this is absolutely fine. Um, so basically the only thing I need to do here, apart from get motors, is these, I mentioned in the last video, this bolt here, this bolt here, my, uh, set of bolts didn't come with 18 millimeter, so these are 20, and they really need to be chopped down so they're not protruding past this block, and then here, he, here, there, okay, sorry, there, there, and two spots there and over there. Um, I need to put square nuts and put hot glue to hold them in place. And that's part of what keeps the foot shell for the outer left and right feet in place. So, yeah, technically, technically I've got 
the drive units, apart from the fact that they have no motors, they're finished. But I'm not exactly thrilled with not exactly thrilled with the whole fitment issue. I know it could be better, but if I was to do it again, I would probably print it in PLA plus, even though I know they recommend PETG or ABS. I just really, I'm to the point where I don't want to mess with printing anymore for a while. So I'll just, I think I'll just be living with them the way they are, which again is just fine if you're not actually driving the thing with motors. Should be just yeah, absolutely fine. So that's it. Uh, not a joyous hooray, hooray, but a thank goodness it's put together. They roll. They're not perfect. I know where the imperfections are, but not sure if I'm going to bother to fix them. At least, definitely not for now.